My name is Femke van der Berg from Ferris Science Limited and in this short video I will show you how to use the onion downy mildew risk prediction model on Crop Monitor Pro. To get access to the risk predictions we first have to navigate to the onion downy mildew model pages and we can do that in two ways. First of all we could click the risk monitoring icon up in the top menu and then the login button on the side which will take you to the login modal or alternatively from the main web page we can go directly to the login or register icon and click login and once more click on login. We will then enter the um, username and password with which we set up an initial onion field which, we, which I've demonstrated in a previous video. and click login. Once you log in, uh, logged in you see that the um, user icon has changed from green to orange uh, and this allows you to now click on edit up here to add further fields if you so wish after your first registration or you can in the regional risk area just look at the risks for the fields you have already registered. So to get to the onion downy mildew specific pages, we need to navigate through the menu. You do this by clicking uh, the risk monitoring icon of the top left hand corner. This brings up your crop menu. We click the onion um, icon and then in the disease mil uh, menu, click downy mildew. This reveals the regional onion downy mildew risk. So as you can see, the uh, England and Wales are split into 15 regions, each of which is colored according to the risk experienced within that region. And the map contains a number of pins which represent case study sites, which are colored in gray. Um, in my case, also some wheat fields that have re uh, registered in blue and all seed rape fields that I have uh, registered also call it in blue. The onion fields that I have registered are colouring according to the risk experienced at that uh, specific site for the disease that we have selected. So in this case at uh, my field named onion 2 on my onion farm the risk for downy mildew at that specific location is currently low and in the region around it the risk is low as well. To get more um, information for individual locations we can then navigate to the location specific web pages and you can do this by clicking on one of the markers. So for instance I want to see more detail about the risks for my onion 2 field. I'll click on the marker. It, it then brings up a, a range of different information. For a start at the top of the page we get a box which displays the agronomic details associated with this location. For example, um, it tells you what date we've sown uh, our onion crop at this location, what cultivar we have sown, what the tillage and previous cropping um, situation was. And um, it also, by expanding um, the menu here, tells you a bit more about down downy mildew in general. You can expand or collapse this information as you require. The second box provides you with an, a daily view of the predicted risk of infection by downy mildew based on the million cast algorithms. Um, it's important to note that the risks that are presented in this box are the risks of infection infection not the risk of symptom development and we see that information is available for the previous 14 days but also today and four days ahead of today. 
The risks are displayed um, according to a RAG status, which means a red, amber, green status, whereby red um, means a high risk, amber means a moderate risk, and green uh, represents a low risk. And as you can see, not only have we um, represented colours, but in the bottom left hand corner, we also have put the RAG letters, if you like. So, uh, R for when it's red and a G for when it's low. So the uh, risk boxes can be expanded and collapsed as you wish to get more of a view of the underlying map. Um, and then there is a plot that can be expanded to get more information as well. So by clicking this top right hand corner of the plot will bring up the information for the plot itself. Now there's quite a lot of information in this plot so I'll try and talk you through it. So we have a, a threshold line for sporulation which is this red one up here which lies at about a, a threshold of four. This threshold is associated with the dots in red, which represent um, the sporulation risk score as predicted by the algorithm. And when a dot appears above the threshold line, it means that the model predicts that sporulation is occurring at this location on that specific day. Now there is a second threshold line, and this threshold line is relevant both for infection and the latent period and lies at a value of one. So what this means is they are associated with both this yellow bar, uh, the, the blue bars and yellow lines. Now the blue bar indicates whether the weather conditions are suitable for infection to occur on that date. So again, if the bar lies above this blue threshold line, that means that on that day, um, it is predicted by the model that infection is occurring at this location. When both the infection and the spore conditions are suitable, we presume that infection does indeed occur. Now, when only one of these thresholds is exceeded, we don't predict that infection is actually occurring because although the infection uh, conditions might be conducive for infection itself. If there's no spores, no actual infection will occur. Once infection does occur, you will start from this point um, on see a yellow line develop. And this yellow line represents the development of the latent lesions uh, within the crop. And once this line exceeds this uh, blue threshold, we presume that symptoms would become visible in the crop. So the plot, um, the plot refers um, almost directly to the risks presented in this bar above in that when one of these thresholds is exceeded, but not the other. So for example, if spores are predicted to occur but infection conditions are predicted not to be conducive the risk will be um, moderate so you will get an amber bar whereas if uh, neither of them are exceeded it is presumed to be a low risk yet when both of them have been exceeded on that day we presume there's a high risk for infection now these risks as i mentioned before above here reflect the risk of infection. And this is important because the spray regime uh, should be targeted more at the initiation of infection, not initiation of symptoms, which are associated with this yellow line having exceeded the threshold. I hope this helps you interpret the um, results produced by the downy mildew module. Um, if you experience any problems or you want to provide us with some feedback, please contact us by email and you can do that at our email address cropmonitor at ferra.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.